doing? You're not going to eat those things, are you? No, don't eat that. I have swaps for all of those things. Like my crispy, no guilt fries, two kinds of unique chips with a cool and spicy dip, crunchy granola, and my super moist brownie muffins. Plus, shocking news about some of your favorite foods. I'm Lisa Lillian, better known as Hungry Girl, keeping it guilt-free and delicious. So hungry. Today's show is all about surprises, shockers, and swaps. And my first recipe today is going to achieve all of those things. First, I will surprise you by letting you know that granola, eh, not as good for you as you think it is. Secondly, I am going to shock you by telling you that some granolas have 600 calories and 30 grams of fat for just a cup. And finally, I am going to swap out some granola with my hungry girl Nola. I'm gonna make granola that's very low in calories, only 165 of those calories and one gram of fat. Now, it's easy to make. Start with some oats. These are slow cooking oats. Quarter cup of regular oats, not the instant kind. Next up, this is puffed rice. Quarter cup of that, love puff cereals. A lot of volume, not a lot of calories. And this is puffed wheat. A quarter cup of that as well. Delicious, puffy, crunchy. Granola is crunchy, we like crunch. Typical granola is loaded with oil and nuts and things you just don't need. Not my granola. Now for the fun ingredient, sugar-free pancake syrup. This stuff is super sweet, nice and gooey, low in calories. Just need a tablespoon and a half of this. Mixed in with my dry cereal. Mm-mm-mm. Smells maple-y. I'm gonna mix this up. I'm gonna get this on my baking sheet. First, I'm gonna use some of this no calorie cooking spray. This is nonstick spray. They say it has zero calories, but it's actually oil, so if you use it and you spray a little too long, it does have some calories, but definitely a better option than oil. Pour that in there. This is good, you can eat this as a snack, you can put it on yogurt, you can put it on ice cream, take it to the movies, take it out to dinner. Just kidding. This will bake in a 275 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes, but I'm gonna flip it halfway and then it'll be almost done. There's just one little ingredient after that. And there is one in there that has been baking for 30 minutes and it's toasty and golden brown. I'm gonna get my final ingredient, freeze dried apples. Now, freeze-dried fruit, one of my favorite things. Way better than dried fruit and way lower in sugar and calories. Freeze-dried fruit is just fruit with all the moisture sucked out of it, so this is just apples, nothing else. And I'm gonna use a half a cup of these. A full half cup, that's a lot of apples. They're sweet, they're tart, they're crunchy. They take the place of a lot of the other stuff in granola you just don't need. Nuts and raisins. Good things, but they add a lot of calories. Give that a mix. And this whole recipe has only 165 calories and one gram of fat. I'm gonna try that out now. I'm eager. Mmm. That is crunchy, delicious, and guilt-free. Granola, that is just one surprising and shocking food. There are many others, and I'm about to test your knowledge on some of them right now. We'll see how much you know. You think you're so smart, don't you? Okay, in front of me. I have a muffin and a chocolate donut. Which do you think is higher in fat and calories? Actually, the chocolate donut, lower in calories and fat than the bran muffin. Now, I'm not saying a chocolate donut is a good choice, but usually a donut has about 200 or 250 calories, and a muffin has a minimum of 400 calories and can have as much as 30 grams of fat. So muffins, not as healthy as you think they are. Next, I have a tuna salad sandwich and a roast beef sandwich. Which one do you think is higher in fat and calories? Tuna salad is loaded with mayo, and therefore it has like 600 calories minimum on average in a tuna salad sandwich. Roast beef clocks in a little bit lower, typically at around 500 calories. And finally, spinach artichoke dip and queso dip. Which do you think is higher in fat and calories? The words spinach and artichoke do not mean healthy. It's about 20% higher in fat and calories than even the queso dip. So, how'd you do? Don't lie to me. Okay, that's better. 
Coming up, not one, but two chip swaps using magical, guilt-free ingredients. Plus, you've heard of sweet potato fries. Well, I'm going with a crazier secret ingredient for my French fry swap. Then, my favorite swaps in the supermarket. And later, only two ingredients and nothing but yum in my yum yum brownie muffins. Do not go anywhere. Today's show is all about surprises, shockers, and swaps. And right now, I'm going to give you some of my favorite swaps for chips. I'm going to start with my baked kale chips. I am a chip maniac. I love chips. Chips, uh, they're dangerous for me because I'll eat an entire bag, especially potato chips. Believe it or not, this kale right here is going to be a chip swap. One of my favorite things. It's a leafy green vegetable, and it's a little tough to cook with, but if you bake it up, it turns into an incredible swap for potato chips. I know that's hard to believe, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So I'm gonna pull this, get these leaves off. If it's wet, you'll, you'll dry it. This is dry, but if it has any moisture, you wanna pat that dry with some paper towels. I'm gonna give it a little flavor. Salt that up. And then, just hit it with a little olive oil. This is olive oil spray. You can use regular olive oil, but if you're gonna drizzle some, use it sparingly, because olive oil is healthy, but it's got a bunch of fat and calories. There it is, that'll give it some nice flavor. And this kale will go into the oven at 425. And in just five to eight minutes, it will be crunchy and delicious. Moving on to my crispy lavash squares with a creamy two-ingredient dip. This is lavash. Lavash, say that, lavash, lavash. Have you heard of it? It's a ginormous flatbread. And wait till you see this. I love lavash, why? Gigantic food this large is good. Look at that. And this whole thing, about 200 calories, crazy. Can you imagine what you could do with this? First of all, it's like a blanket, it's a wrap. Imagine the size of a burrito you can make with this. Today, I'm gonna turn this into chips Cut this into squares, about a couple of inches each, and bake this up as well. These cook up in about two to four minutes, so keep an eye on them. Don't run away, you will burn them. You know, a lot of my swaps come from just me being desperate to find guilt-free versions of foods I love. And being a person who loves chips, I thought, well, I need to find ways that I can eat crunchy, chip-like items without all the calories and without all the carbs. And so, today, I'm showing you two of my favorites. And they can sit on top of each other, it's fine. They're all friends. Look at this, look at all these chips, it's chip mania here. And there it is. This is also gonna go into the oven. Remember, it's 425 degrees for just two to four minutes. And now I'm gonna make my dip. This is a Hungry Girl Hot Couple. Greek yogurt, salsa, that's it, a spoon. It is so easy, crazy. This is fat-free Greek yogurt. One third of a cup mixed with two thirds of a cup of salsa. I love salsa, it's a little spicy, delicious. And when it's mixed with Greek yogurt, it becomes creamy. Mix that up. Two ingredients, that's it. It is zesty, it is creamy, and you will not believe how delicious it's gonna taste with those chips. Today, we're shopping for swaps for some key foods that we all love and want to enjoy. I will show you how you can eat them guilt-free. Okay, we're starting with ground beef. Regular ground beef, even the low-fat kind, is loaded with fat and calories. This is ground soy crumbles, okay? 80 calories a serving, 75% less fat than regular ground beef, and a must-have. Tastes amazing, you will never know the difference. Ice cream typically has a lot of fat and calories. These new slow-churned, half-churned, double-churned ice creams, they have about half the fat and a fraction of the calories of regular ice cream. But this tub has seven servings. To me, it's more like three servings. I know something that actually has one serving, and I love that. Portion-controlled ice creams. These sandwiches, these cups, 
great because it's one serving, you got it, you're good. Fruit bars, also good choice. About 80 to 100 calories, one serving, and fat free. They are all coming home with me. This might surprise you about bread. White bread, wheat bread, 